Hi, my name is Tendai and welcome to my channel. Today I just thought I'd share with you my footwear when I cycle. Um, during the first lockdown, I was limited as to access that I had to cycling shops. Um, so I used the one near me, uh, Half Pipe in um, Portobello. Um, really good uh, cycle shop, very friendly, really nice guys. And these are the shoes that they had in stock in my size. So I was like, hey, what the heck? I'm just getting back into cycling. I need something to wear. So I bought these and I thought they could be my everyday. Never have really had an issue with them until uh, mid-winter, uh, mid to late winter. So around about December time, I started noticing uh, a difference in the shoe. Uh, it became very uh, uncomfortable. It seemed to shrink. So the front here used to be more rounded. Uh, it seems to have collapsed ever so slightly. And then it was pressing on my, on my toes. I used to have quite a bit of room uh, at the front of the shoe. Um, but it turns out that um, it started to shrink. Now the reason for this was two reasons. When I'm cycling into work, most days it was raining, so they used to get soaked. And because they kept getting soaked, I bought a little fan heater so that I could dry my gear for when I'm cycling back home in the evening after work. And I think uh, the combination of them getting wet and then using the heater to dry them um, caused whatever material that they use. Whatever material they use at the front here, it looks like it's plastic. And then on the side, it kind of seems like it's leather. Uh, there's a bit of a shine on the front, as you can see, but then this is quite matte at the back here. So this might be leather, I'm not too sure. Um, I'll, I'll let you up, others out there who are more versed in what leather looks like to, to decide, but it's all um, pretty cheap really for what I paid for them. Cheap shoes, done the job for, for a while, but I've had to stop wearing them. They are hurting my feet and you've got to look after yourself and you've got to look after your body. So you have to listen to your body. So I was in agony. So my, my little toe, my big toe were hurting. Uh, every time I, I, I wore these shoes, not not straight away, but when I took them off and I was walking around normally, I'll be like, oh, I feel a bit uncomfortable. So I've, I've had to stop wearing these and uh, brought these bad boys into play. Now, I bought the Overcures in the summer uh, when uh, all the shops were opened up and you could go in and actually try stuff on. So I went in and I try these on. Uh, I'm usually a size nine, but these are nine and three quarters. Um, so these are, are now my everyday shoes. These are the Physique uh, Overcures uh, 5, uh, R5s. And then I've been happy with these shoes. They're comfortable, they, they're stiff, and I love the, the black color. Um, it goes really well with my, my, uh, my Bianchi, which has got the, um, the, the falcon wheels with the black side walls and the little splashes of uh, Celeste and stuff like that. Um, I, I don't like when people call it Celeste. Uh, it's Celeste to me. I'm English. Uh, when I say I'm English, I'm not English. I'm British. So I prefer the the black. And then I thought I'd make a new addition to the family. My uh, Spandango shoes that are not my everydays, which had to be very different to what I would normally go for. So I've always had white um, cycling shoes, but then now... I brought these bad boys into play. <laughs> I'm sticking with physique. Um, I, f I find them to be very comfortable. Now these, oh, they are stunning. Um, now, <laughs> I, I can see that you're looking at the shoe and thinking, right, these are beautiful. Um, they are beautiful. I love these shoes. These are the Infinitos. Um, the R1s, racing shoe, um, very stiff, and I can't wait to try them on in terms of see how they feel on my feet, go out on a nice big bike ride, and then kind of just give you some feedback with how they perform. Um, I've since fitted uh, power meters on my bike, the Ultra XR3. Uh, I'm thinking about getting power meters for the for the for the everyday bike as well, so I can just literally have um, some kind of sort of monitoring my 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 output at all times when I'm out on the bike. Um, so I've got the Favero uh, Asiyama Dual 
a power meter is currently fitted on the Bianchi. Well, I mean, they're, they're, they're all Bianchis, actually, so I don't know what I'm saying. The Bianchi. They're both Bianchis, but on the Ultra, um, my weekend bike. Um, as I'm talking to you, I'm sort of going through the Asiyama box. Actually, let me, let me do that on camera. Let me just move these for a minute and do this on camera. I'm basically going through this box here. And I was taking out the clips that come with the um, Asiyamos. Uh, power meters, the Favero Asiyama power meters. So I'm going to fit these on the new shoes. Um, actually, I didn't plan this. This kind of, you know, look, uh, yeah, it kind of goes. Nice. I didn't even realize they were red uh, until now. So fantastic. So I'm going to be fitting these on on these uh, new shoes, cycling shoes. Um, and uh, yeah, let me get all my bits together and let's get started. So one thing to consider when fitting um, cleats onto your cycling shoe um, is your the ball of your foot is where you're going to be driving all the power through, um, and ideally what you want to make sure that is it's properly lined with the crank arm so that it centers with the ball of your foot so that your your power transfer goes right into the from the ball of your foot into the crank arm through the drivetrain into your wheels. Um, and that way you know that you're, you're properly set up. So yeah, center of the ball of your foot should really line up with um, your, your crank arm off, off the pedal, basically, with the center of the pedal um, where, the, where it attaches to the crank arm, yeah? Um, and basically, I have an idea of where my the ball of my foot is on the shoe, which is right about there for, my, for the ball of my foot. So my crank arm is going to be literally across across there basically where that line is um, and and well when I say that the center of the pedal that where it attaches to the crank arm is going to be literally down that line there so that my power transfer is right through the ball of my foot not my toes not behind literally through the ball of my foot so when I stand up or if I'm sitting down my power transfer is always going to be where it needs to be fantastic so if I have this shoe sideways, you can see that that is the, the ball of my foot right there. Um, and basically when you clip in, uh, it's got, so this is the back of the cleat. So ignore the back of the cleat. The ball of my foot is somewhere just in front of the cleat, about 10, 10 mil in front of the cleat, the back of the cleat. Um, and that's gonna help with the trans power transfer um, coming right through there, um, that, that, that area there. So yeah. I'm going to start fitting the cleats on the other shoe and then I'm going to try them out and then see if I need to make any uh, minor adjustments before my major ride tomorrow. So what you don't want to be doing is fitting your cleats, not really trying them on, uh, not really going on a bike and just pedaling around, around a block or something just to get the feel of them to see if you need to make any minor adjustments. Because what you don't want to do is go out on a big ride and then be caught out where your um, cleat is not in the right place and you probably end up making yourself... Um, or hurting yourself or causing an injury. So try and avoid injuries by making sure that you set your your bike up properly and there's no issues with it. Oh my god, I need to change these. These these are these are pretty worn on the left hand side. So this is the side that I clip in and out of um, when I when I stop. As you can see the side where I clip in and out of is more worn than the side that doesn't really get clipped clipped out. So the right side, look at it, almost brand new. The left side where I clip out and I've had to uh, unclip and use my my left foot to try and stop when one of my good friends Leon pulled out on me and then tried to have a go at me for coming up too fast. Um, I don't know how fast you can go on a push bike, uh, but drivers like this excuse of you was coming up too fast or I didn't see you. Well, which one is it, bro? You didn't see me or was I coming up too fast? There's a bit of clear plastic that covers the holes with the markings on there. So what else? Turn to tell you is please try our new shoes on a rug first. Sorry, we can't take any product return with wear or damage on there. Uh, that's what it just says on here. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna take this off. Nice. And then line it up. Fantastic. 
passes. These are very different to the um, to Luke Keogh's ones or the uh, they're a little bit more compact. They're not as wide, whereas my other ones protrude the actual shoe. You can see either side of the shoe. These ones are slightly narrower, um, which is very interesting. So this might make the setup a little bit more interesting in terms of what I'm used to, I'm not used to the cleat being this small. Um, but yeah, let's just see how this pans out. Um, and how far, actually I think I need to push this more towards in. So um, I'm closer to the crank arm with the cleat rather than it being further away from the from the crank arm. Um, it, pushes my, it pushes your foot away, basically pushes your foot away So yeah, um, do that. Okay, so that's that one. It's not tight. It's just loosely on there. Yeah. Now this one, uh, where is it? That's where most of your power comes through, as opposed to being centrally uh, located. I tend to put it closer to the crank arm. Um, I find that I, I, I'm more comfortable that way, and I put more power out that way. I've not been able to go over a thousand watts just yet. Uh, maybe I need to do some more strength training in the gym. Um, I've been using one gear uh, going in and in, to and from work on my commuter bike. And I noticed that when I went out on the bike last weekend, when we did uh, Richmond, then Windsor, back to Richmond, then back to Northwest London, uh, doing a total of 95 miles. Um, I was a lot stronger. I felt really comfortable on the bike. It felt really light because I've been using one gear on the other bike all week. And I literally cycled um, six days last week, seven days a week before, seven days a week before that. So I was cycling solid for three weeks straight, straight which is not good. Today is actually my first rest day um, in three weeks, which is not good because you, you need to rest. But I don't do long distances in the week and I don't go as hard anymore in the week. Um, I'm pretty chill, though, so I'm doing a bit of math training in the week when I'm cycling to and from work. So yeah, um, it's going to be interesting to set these up uh, and see how they feel on the bike. So this is not tight. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to see how it lines up. Um, looks like we need to go forward a bit more. Yeah. There we go. That's as far forward as it goes. And then we need to be straight. To me, okay, cool. Now I can tighten this a little bit, not too much. I'll do and just bring this in. Okay, not too tight because I still need to make some adjustments. I'm going to try these out first and then I'll come back and make all the adjustments that I need to make. So it doesn't have to be too tight. That should do it. That's that one. Okay, so just put that upside down like so. And then this one, let's see. Take it forward. So the bottom of my foot is there. Okay, so that's as far forward as it will go. Please. Okay, so. To, so basically, because I because I, I work as a nutrition, right? I've got really good Allen key sets, but I use them at work. So when I come to work on my bike, I've kept this cheap one at home because obviously um, uh, my work is more important. But I really need to buy a better one for my bike because this. Pretty square. Yeah, they look pretty good. I'm happy with that. My new Infinito R1 
physiques, um, proper race shoe. I'm really excited about trying these out. I love the overcures. Uh, I use them every day. They're very comfortable. Um, it'll be interesting to see just how comfortable these are uh, compared to the to the overcures, uh, the R5s. Yeah, cool. See you in a minute. Okay, so first impressions of the shoes. Having just worn them for um, five ten minutes now, and um, gone out on the bike. Um, the cleats that come with them are so much easier to click in and out of. Um, they're more comfortable. They, they feel like they don't slip on the surface. The other ones, I always feel like I was going to slip with them on. But these shoes are really, really comfortable. Please excuse the, the dodgy socks. Um, I just wanted to put on a thick pair of socks so I can just try them on. Um, uh, and I've got loads of room in there. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. I've got loads of wiggle room. Um, so... Over here is the Ultra with my Asiyama Power Meters on there. So yeah, um, if I just slip in quickly so you can see what I'm talking about. So that's me clipped in already. <laughs> so as you can see, the ball of my foot sort of lines up with the crank arm, what I was talking about. Um, and power transfer is very, very easy. Um, I've, I've slid the cleats closer to the crank arm so it's right there, it's in there. The ball of my foot is where the power is going to be coming through. Uh, there's not a lot of power trap. Even though it's a, it's a stiff shoe, there's no point in having a cleat all the way over here. Um, I, I feel like it's, it's best uh, closer to the crank arm. For me, that's my personal preference. Um, but yeah, so far, so good. I'm really happy with this. Um, they feel very, 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 very comfortable. And I can't wait. I cannot wait pick those pro tomorrow chilton's it's going to be epic all right i'm really happy with this beautiful shoe i can't wait to try it out um i'll just get rid of this moving it looks absolutely amazing um i'm getting pretty accustomed to setting up my shoes because I, I got it right first time i didn't have to make any adjustments um i'll see how i feel tomorrow on my ride and then i'll give you an update tomorrow once i've been out on my ride but yeah this is what I'm going to be wearing and this is what I wear during the day when I'm cycling to work in the week. Um, beautiful shoes, very comfortable, um, nice carbon fiber bottom which is very solid. Well that one is plastic, they're all plastic, it's funny I don't know why I thought they were carbon fiber, they're plastic, I'm probably thinking about the works i think it's the s works with the carbon fiber bottom i'm not too sure um but for 330 pounds this is what 330 pounds gets you wow i never thought i'd spend 330 pounds on a pair of shoes shoes that i can't wear outside normally that's ridiculous what has happened to me oh my god and on that bombshell, thank you, goodbye, and thank you very much for your support. Take care. Bye now.